Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. It is a new month, which means it is time for a project pan update. If you're wondering where Freya is, I think she's a bit sad today. Oh, she started wagging her tail when I said her name. Um, she's here. I think she's hot and I think she's also a bit sad because dad went back to work today. But she is all right. We were, oh no, here she comes. She's like, yeah, I, I am okay. Look, I am. I'm all right. I'm here. I'm just a bit sad. I miss my dad. Where are you going to go? Are you going to go back there? All right. You're not allowed on the couch. <laughs> Let's jump into a project pan update. Number one, I'm going to start with empties as I always do. I don't have many. Don't get too excited. I went for the easy, easy stuff. I used up the Shantakai uh, Gold Energizing Eye Recovery Mask. This was fine. They're like hydrogel patches for under the eyes. I was kind of expecting like fine lines be gone kind of deal. It didn't do that. Um, I definitely felt like my under eyes were hydrated, but nothing else happened with these. It is, you know, a single use item. Maybe if you use them consistently, you might see better results, but for me, I kind of expect, especially, I don't know, I just hold brands like this to a higher regard when it comes to masks. I expect it to like do the thing instantly or do something instantly. Sure, it hydrated, but you know, that's not enough for me. I can do that with an eye cream. I did also finish up just one of my fragrance samples. This one's Floral Street Wild Vanilla Orchid. I quite like this one. It's not I don't like it enough to want to like own it in a full size, uh, but I liked it enough to finish the sample. Something else I did in January was go through the rest of my fragrance samples and decide if there were any that I simply didn't like enough to want to wear on my body. And I've, I picked out six. Now there was another one which I was like you know going to sample and then I dropped it on my bathroom floor and it shattered so one of them is broken and gone uh, the six that I have here are mostly floral street I've got black lotus ugh, neon rose cypher sublime I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly iris goddess and london poppy I just don't like any of them and I've also got white sandalwood from Goldfield and Banks I haven't liked most of these Goldfield and Banks fragrances there I had like a sampler if you watch last year's project pan you know I tried to go through quite a few of them I do I think I've got one more of these from the Goldfields and Banks sampler and I've got two others that I think are Floral Street but these ones I'm just I'm not interested in them I don't want to use them so I'm getting rid of them I've also got a product that is almost done it's this from Skin Institute, the gentle cleanser so it was there it's now down here I, I use it as a shower gel super super easy to use up um, this will be done I probably only got like one more use in it so I'm considering this done for the sake of the project and I am introducing something new this is from Lush it's the whoosh shower jelly so I've got three Lush shower jellies left and I want to get through them all this year these are quite easy to finish up when they're kind of a pain in the ass though it, they they're best used if they're like in a mesh bag that can sort of be used to contain it so it's not slipping out of your hands and also so it like agitates and develops a foam using them just on their own is a real pain in the butt i did have like a little mesh bag that i used to put the lush shower jellies in i cannot for the life of me find it i don't know if i've decluttered it before i moved or I just I put it somewhere anyway I finished up the Santa baby one uh, late last year and that was kind of like towards the end I was just like this is fucking driving me insane but I just I want them done so you're gonna be seeing lush shower jellies in my project for a while let's move on to makeup the NARS tinted glow booster I am wearing this under my makeup today I think it's 
absolutely beautiful. If you've got dry skin, I don't even know if they actually make this anymore. It might have been limited edition. I, I don't know. Anyway, if you've got dry skin, it's really good. If you've got oily skin, I'm not so sure it would be great for you. Basically full when I put it in. I have used a little bit. There is a tiny bit of progress, but I'm not going to bother marking it at this point because it's just going to be line on top of a line. I'm also using the Isonox Microfoam Cushion Silk cover. So this one was 82.68 grams, now 82 grams. Um, it's like it's a cushion product. If you've ever tried to pan one of these, you, you know what the deal is, especially if you've tried to weigh it along the way. I don't actually expect this to take me too long to finish up. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. I do have a little bit of progress on this one as well. It may not really look like it, but the, there's a tiny bit of progress. I haven't marked it because, again, it's going to be a line on top of a line. I use it very, very, very sparingly, as I do with all concealers because... The majority of the area that I use it is under my eyes and I've got fine lines and dryness. So putting something on too thick under there, it looks horrible. So I do expect that to take me a while. I did also buy two new concealers recently. So I have been playing with them and I will continue to do that. The Kat Von D or KVD Beauty, I don't know, Lock It Blotting Powder. So that's what it looks like. It was 68.78 grams, now 67.57 grams. This is a blotting powder, so it's supposed to like take off the like excess shine from oil, but I just feel like this is an absolutely phenomenal face powder. It doesn't absorb all of the moisture out of my skin and make me feel super dry, and it lets some of that like radiance come through. I am loving it. I don't know if they still make it. I assume they do. If I didn't have a lot of face powders, I'd probably go and buy another one of these, but I've got quite a few, so, you know. MAC Fix Plus. This is a mini. It's a watermelon one. You can see my progress there. So I'm mm, a little bit over halfway through the bottle. I, I easily could have finished this up in January, but also I was kind of just enjoying, like, the combination of what these three products do together like i i didn't use this today and i just i like it so i kind of ignored it a little bit but if i had used it every time i did my makeup i would have finished it for sure my face palette from hourglass this is the Illume sheer color trio in sunset so i am wearing it today uh i did stick my nail into the highlighter on purpose because I wanted to see how deep the pans were. I felt like I was getting quite a dip in the uh, bronzer shade and I'm like, mm, am I going to hit pans soon? But these pans are deceptively deep. So I don't think I'm going to be hitting pan on that anytime soon. Uh, I did say, you know, I expect this one to go first and the other two to be like kicking on after that and I'll probably declutter it once that happens I might change my mind about that because these are like I mean it's a nice combo it's it's beautiful I'm really enjoying it so it was 83.91 grams it's now 83.18 grams okay let's do a whole bunch of things where I'm really not going to be able to show you much progress uh, the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer, I did use this. It does have a little bit of progress, but again, like, I'm not going to mark a line on top of a line. Something that I do have visual progress on via, like, weighing it is the Linda Hallberg Calf Flash Eyeliner. So this one was 5.21 grams, now 5.13 grams. I did sharpen it once uh, during January, so there's... There's that. I can also show you progress on my ColourPop Becky G Manika lip liner. So this one was 7.14 grams. It's now 6.98 grams. Again, that was one that I sharpened. I, I will say I do love the sharpenable items because uh, you can actually like see progress. And I did make a little bit of progress on my uh, Quick Flick Quick brow. This one was 19.32 grams. It's now 19.22 grams. The other items that I have here, I've got the Hyper Sharp 
uh, liner from Maybelline. No progress on that. I have used it, but like you'll never see any progress on it. Same with Benefit Precisely My Brow. I have certainly used this, um, but these only contain 0 0.8 grams of product. So even with my like pretty decent-ish scales that can measure like the point of a gram um, it doesn't really pick up on it but that's what I have left there's not too much in there I do use it very sparingly because the shade is 3.5 so it's literally the color of my brow hairs if I were to fill my whole brow in with this it looks really heavy so that one's gonna take a while I also have the Clarence uh, Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector in 01. Again, this does have a little bit of progress on it. Um, you might be able to sort of see there, but again, I don't want to mark a line on a line, so I'll come back to it next month and I should have more progress to show you guys. Moving into like hair and skin and I don't know, stuff, body stuff, Paul and Joe. This is a hand cream. Uh, it's the Moisturizing Hand Cream 3. Uh, this one was 54.49 grams, now 29.84 grams. I've given this a beating. Now, this is certainly moisturizing. This is quite a thick cream, which is, it's nice. It's good if you've got really dry skin. Problem for me is it does leave that sort of heavy residue on my hands now i'm not um, i can deal with it like if i'm going to bed or something like that's fine but during the day if i'm out and about like no way because the dog is always coming to me for a pat and then i pat her and i've got like hair stuck to me or i'm touching stuff or i can't like open something or i'm getting it all over my steering wheel it's just not my preference for like an everyday hand cream. However, my feet have been horribly dry, mostly because I've been walking around in bare feet everywhere I go. So what I've been doing is putting this on my feet and then putting on a pair of socks, really nice, like heavy layer of it. And it is good. Like it really helps to hydrate the skin on my feet. So that's how I'm using it. That's probably how I'm going to finish it up. It's not unusual for me to do something like that. I do have a lot of hand creams. I am trying to like get through them. Often I just forget to use them. It's one of those things. But this one I have discovered I really love using it on my feet. So I'm sure that will be done by the next update and I will introduce something new. Another hand cream. So many hand creams. Bioderma Micellar Water. I have a little bit of progress on this one. I didn't really wear makeup all that much in January. I'm like still trying to just chill out a bit and putting on makeup just for funsies wasn't really on the top of my want to do list. So I didn't use it too much, but I have made some progress there, which is great. I am hoping that, you know, I will make better progress in the coming month. We'll, we'll see how we go. You guys can be the judge of that. The lines will be the judge of that. Ah, uh, Laneige, the lip sleeping mask in vanilla. This went missing for a while. Uh, every night I'd get into bed and I'd be like, oh God, I can't find it. It must have fallen under the bed, but by then I'm exhausted and I just want to like, I don't want to have to turn the light on to like, look under the bed. I'm like, in the morning, I'll check in the morning. And then the morning comes and it's definitely not on my mind. Like I give a crap. Uh, and then the nighttime rolls around and I'm like, I've done my full routine. I've turned off the lights. We're all snuggled down. I'm in bed and I'm like, I'm going to put on some lip balm. <laughs> no, you're not. Cause this is probably under the bed somewhere and you have to get up and turn on the light to search for it. So I don't do it. And the cycle repeats. So this was ignored for quite some time, but uh, the other day I was tidying up in the bedroom and the dog was like, please get a ball from under the bed for me. So I looked under there and yeah. Anyway, it was 57 grams. It's now 56.3. So that's fantastic. This will take me all year, definitely. I've been working on it for most of last year, so 
if you have ever used one you understand okay last two products this is something that I forgot I was panning um, not that you can really see it uh, drunk elephant wild marula tangle spray it's a detangler and heat protectant uh, yeah I just forgot that I was panning this so I didn't use it too much I did use it last night when I was doing my hair um, so yeah no progress on that and the last item is from Davines it's a natural tech elevating massage oil so this one was here and it's now down here I do expect this to take me quite some time I didn't use it too much in January and to be perfectly fair I really could use this as like a treatment before I wash my hair every time I wash my hair but I'm not that good I just I don't always remember and sometimes I'm in a rush there are a few other items in the project um, along with 47 samples I am not talking about them if I didn't use them or make any progress at all but this month I touched on almost every item that was in my project pan I think the only thing like there was a lot of samples obviously that I didn't use um, and some other eye masks only using up one eye mask in January was pretty lame of me to be honest so I am gonna wrap that up there let me know how you guys are going with your panning if you are panning this year uh, I want to say a massive thank you to my channel members and to everyone who has joined me today and I will catch you guys in the next one bye